Uh, I'm Carl. I've been running the 2G ACM match now for about six years. Hit! Jesus! Hit! Hit! If someone asked you, what would you say is the, the biggest difference between this match and, and the other typical three-gun matches out there? I think I would say the emphasis is just in a different place. Um, not to say the three-gun isn't, but I think that uh, we like to put a higher emphasis on the martial element of the shooting so as a result if you think of the skill sets that you would have in many other uh, training classes like a carbine training class a lot of that is emphasized in our match so we mix in things such as urban prone or, or barricade drills or retention of magazines with physical challenges where you may be sprinting 100 yards multiple iterations or or even throwing a kettlebell to get yourself winded and experience firing your carbine or your rifle under physical duress not just under marksmanship stress Hit. Yeah, that third trip was a pain in the butt. Oh, the first one's a pain in the butt. Don't get any better. <laughs> Hit! No, it's a lot of fun. We have a group, great group, bunch of people. We have regulars. We have the whole spectrum of folks. You'll see people out here that never shot a match before. You have We have a fairly good contingency of women that come out shoot with us, which is sort of unusual for the practical shooting sports. And then you have people out here that are actually here truly emphasizing practice for their real world necessary skills, some military, some police, etc. So it's a real broad spectrum and a real great fun bunch of people that will help you out and give you ammo if you need it. I mean, it's really a group of people that want you to succeed. Sure. I'm Aaron. I'm, I, I'd say I was the uh, one of the legs of the stool. Um, I've been here with it as long as Carl almost and and pretty much help out. I do a lot of stage design as well and help run the stages. One of the things that's nice that we do that a lot of other people don't is we set up stage designs that don't give an automatic benefit to people with really high tech gear and, and certain equipment that, that really is sort of a buy-in in a lot of other competitions. Um, a lot of competitions where if you shoot a really ordinary firearm, like the kind of gun that most people would just carry or buy as their first firearm, or a really simple gun without advanced optics, a lot of times that's an automatic limitation of your success in the match and scores. Whereas here it's a little different. Uh, depending on the day or, the, or the, the kind of stage design we're working on, we'll have examples where you know someone with an AK can actually win the match. Someone without you know with iron sights, without an advanced optics. There's always going to be advantages in there, but our stage design is something that uh, occasionally neutralizes those advantages in ways that people weren't anticipating. Hit. 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 There you go. Nobody here has an ego about the score. I mean, there's people that come out that we know they're always going to win, and they do very well. Um, and and those of us who, who shoot regularly, who, who come out, you know, we pretty much are. If we had an ego, it's going to get bruised every time. So, um, so somebody somebody sooner or later is going to have you know, no matter how good they are, they're going to have a really bad day, and they're going to screw something up. So, uh, it's it's nice. I mean, screw something up, but in a safe way, and in a way that's still fun, and, and everybody laughs about it when we're done. So. Hi. Still high and low to the right. Huh? You're way right. We have done so many different things. We've done any, everything from historical reenactments of actual shoot, shooting events. And, and I don't mean like modern shooting events. Sometimes we say, okay, here's a gunfight that happened in the 19th century. Let's try to recreate it and, and force people to use their modern guns in a way that maybe they're not comfortable with or familiar with. Um, and we've gone to the other extreme where we've just said, let's do something completely absurd that has no relevance to reality at all, but sounds like a whole lot of fun. So we do theme matches. Uh, we've, we've done theme matches based on actual events or movies. Uh, we've got a few other ideas. We had uh, a, a couple of zombie matches. And to be fair, we were cool. We did zombie matches before they were popular. So, uh, so we've kind of put that behind us now because uh, everyone else is doing it. My name is Jake. Uh, I help design these, this match, and I, help, uh, and I shoot it every month. That was decent. If someone asked you how this was different than a standard three-gun match, what, what are the main reasons? Uh, one, we don't use a shotgun. Okay. Two, uh, the marksmanship, we really test marksmanship under physical stress. There's a lot more physical challenges. 
uh, running, jumping, throwing heavy things, carrying heavy things. Why no shotgun? Shotguns are only good for breaching doors and, and hunting birds. Everything else, a rifle or a handgun, can do just as well. The skills that three gun tends to test with the shotgun tends to make it a little more game. Yeah, it's all about the reloading with the shotgun. Correct. Correct. Hit! Wow, this is hard. Yeah, <laughs> yeah get in there. Insert, twist, go left. Hit! All right, so can you tell us your name? Christine. What brings you out here to the, the two gun action challenge match? It's always a challenge, it's always different. Uh, so you, uh, you feel like you can do things you never thought you could do. My name is Carlson, and uh, I've been coming to this match now for, I guess, about three or four years at this point. Yeah, it's been a while. Good job. Right. Why this match and, and not the others? Well, I do a lot of others too, but this is my favorite match. Um, this is actually the most challenging for me. As you can tell, I'm a little older than a lot of the guys around here. I still have my nice ponytail though, so... <laughs> I uh, This is a very physical match, which I really enjoy. Holster? See, this is why you want Molly here. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, stand by. Oh, oh my God, dude! I thought you had it. I just took. It's it's without a doubt the best combat tactical match I've ever done. I've done a lot of different uh, three-gun matches and pistol matches and all that kind of stuff. Again, this is the favorite match that I have, though. Anything else you think is important? Everyone should wear a kilt out here because it's a lot more comfortable.